Okay, let's have a look on this question. This question mentioned that you see diagram six show that show a solid formed by joining a cylinder. Okay, this one is a cylinder. Okay, obviously this one is a cylinder. Okay, to a right prism and then bottom this one is a right prism. Right prism just mean actually here is ninety degree. You have a 90 degree here and then you have a trabegium here. Okay. Okay. Trabegium AFGB. So you can see actually A, F, G and B. Okay. Is the uniform cross section of the trabegium. Uniform cross section means what? Mean actually this area will same with the area behind this one. You see these two areas actually is the same. Okay, so he asks you calculate the volume in centimeter cubes uh, of the solid. Okay, he asks you calculate the volume. So before we start to calculate this of the volume, actually he gives us some of the information. He say AB will equal to BC, which is nine centimeter. AB and BC is the nine centimeter here. Okay, this, this is 9, this is 9. And then the height of the cylinder is 6. Okay, and then given the diameter will be 7. Okay, so if you understand this one, okay, just write some formula here. The volume for cylinder will be pi r square h. Okay, and then the volume for prism will be at this area multiple the height multiple the height okay so okay we calculate cylinder first for cylinder we do not have the r but then we have the diameter so what i what i say in the last few video is the actually diameter is the Actually, 2R will equal to 1 diameter. Means what? Diameter width in a circle. A line will pass through the middle point and then cut the circle into a half. This line we call it diameter. So he gives us this diameter is 7 cm. So we know this is center point. So we know actually the R will be 3.5. Okay, so we got one information here. R is equal to 3.5 and then the H will equal to given here is equal to 6 okay then we got all this information and then I think it's given even given us the pi pi is equal to 22 over 7 so we just substitute everything in we can easily get the volume of the cylinder okay Okay, if you understand this one, okay, let's, before we start, let's have some other things, okay, if you understand this one, just wait for a while, okay, okay, another thing is, we have to find the, we have to find the, uh, volume of this right prism so when it in order to find the right prism we have to find the area of the trabezium and then we multiply this height okay so where volume uh, the area of the trabezium so we having here in these shapes okay I just roughly draw out so let's say this is F A B and G. So here is given is 12. So top here is given is 9 and then this one is 8. Since these two lines is the parallel, so the formula for area of trabezium will be half okay, well the trabezium will be half multiple okay, these two parallel lines plus together 9 plus 12. So we will become here I write here 9 plus 12 and then multiple the height 8 
okay multiple the height 8 so we just simplify 2 and 8 we got 4 we got 4 here so 9 plus 12 we got 21 21 multiple 4 we will get 84 yeah 21 multiple 4 yeah we got 84 cm square is the okay is the area for area for this trapezium in order to get the whole volume we have to multiple the height here okay this one will same with this one he said bc is equal to 9 so we know actually this one is 9 bc is equal to 9 so just now we just got the we just got the area of the trapezium so we use 84 centimeter square multiple the 9 centimeter then we can get the whole volume so here what i need to do is the volume of the volume of right prism so right prism will equal to 84 cm square multiple the 9 centimeter we multiple we multiple this one 9 centimeter okay so we multiple 9 centimeter we have got okay 9 22 22 okay press calculator so 84 multiple 9 we have got 7 5 6 cm cube because cm square multiple cm again we have got cm cube okay this one is the volume of the right prism okay so now we know the whole volume for the right prism will be 7 5 6 now we have to find the volume for this cylinder so i just write the formula one more time volume of cylinder will equal to volume of cylinder will equal to pi r square h so just now we got pi is 22 over 7 r is equal to 3.5 square h is given h is given is 6 cm so pi r square h will be 6 here so this one you just press the calculator then you can got it so the, let's say 3.5 square multiple 6 and then multiple 22 over 7 then we will got 231 cm cube okay this is for the volume of cylinder okay so now he asks you to calculate the volume of the solid means cylinder have to plus the right prism so cylinder we got two three two three one and then the volume for prism we got seven five six so two so the solid means the volume of solid okay volume of solid will equal to 756 cm cube plus 231 cm cube okay so we just press the calculator you will got 987 cm cube which is right prism plus the cylinder okay which is in this one is the 231 plus 756 then you can get the whole volume okay so i hope actually this step can help you you just write out whatever information is given and must remember the formula for cylinder volume equal to pi r square h then the r will be half of the cylinder, uh, diameter so diameter is 7 half of the diameter will be 3.5 the height is given is 6 and then he asks you to use pi equal to 22 over 7 so you just substitute everything in and then press the calculator you can easily solve this question okay if okay then i just give you another example okay so just have a look on another example here okay for this example okay first he say okay what information he say here he said diameter 2 show a combined solid consists of the right prism okay right prism again 
right prism, you have to find the area of the trapezium and then you multiply the height. Okay? And then, yes. And then, M and a right pyramid. Actually, this one is a pyramid. Pyramid, the formula will be 1 over 3, multiple base, multiple height. Okay? Okay, which are joined at the plane EFGH. EFGH mean the joint here. And V is the vertical, V is the vertical above this plan, EFGH. And then trabezium ABGH is the uniform crossover the right prism. I mean actually he's just mentioned this area, the same with the area behind here. Okay? Okay, some information is given here. He say the height of the a pyramid is given. Height for this one will be 8 cm. So later, 1 over 3 multiple base, multiple height, height will be x centimeter. And then he given fg. fg, fg will mean 14 centimeter. Okay, and then he asks you, calculate the volume of the right prism. Okay, so when he say here is 14, you have to know actually, ef is same with da. So this one is called 8. So 8 multiple 14, and then multiple the height. Height is eight also. Uh, height is eight also. So before I start to do that, so I just write some formula for pyramid. Okay. So you just remember pyramid. Okay. Pyramid. The volume of pyramid will equal to base multiple height. Okay. Base is what. Base is. 6 multiple 14 okay because 14 is given you say fg equal to 14 this one ef equal to 6 because base is a rectangle so 6 multiple 14 so 6 multiple 14 and then for pyramid because this one is a pyramid so you remember you have to multiple again you have to multiple 1 over 3 pyramid and corn you must multiple 1 over 3 Base multiple height is to find the cube or cuboid. Okay, but then pyramid is 1 over 3 of the cube or cuboid. So you remember, 1 over 3 multiple base multiple height. Okay, so height is given is 8 cm, multiple 8, and then we multiple 1 over 3. Then because all multiple, I can straight away simplify 3 and 6, we got 2. Okay, so 2 multiple 8. 8 is 16, 16 multiple 14. So you just press the calculator. 16 multiple 14, we got 224. So the total volume will be 224 cm cube. This is the way to find the pyramid. Okay? Sound easy? Okay? Calculate the volume is the right. So you just make sure you find the base area and then multiple the height and then multiple 1 over 3. This is the way to find the pyramid. Okay, done. Okay, if you're done, it's very good. So the second thing, he says what? He says, it's given that the volume of the combined solid, combined solid is 584. Mean pyramid combined this one is 584. And then he asks you to find the length of AF. AF is here, me he want you to find the right of the prism. So in order to do this one, okay, so okay, I write we mark down first two two four is for volume of pyramid. So actually this one the volume is equal to two two four. So what is the volume for bottom here? So because this one he said this one is the combined solid. It's 584, so I just use 584 minus 224. So actually, I know actually the right prism will be 360. Okay, so if you know the right prism, oh, this is not angle, sorry, cm cube. Okay, it's, it's the volume. So you want to find the right prism. I say already, you want to find the right prism, you must find the area, and then you use the area multiple the height okay so now we okay I just scratch out the area 
Okay, let's say this is the trabezium AF BG. Okay, so in order to find this area, I say trabezium will be half two parallel line plus together. This is 10 and this is 14. So this one will be 10, this one will be 14. So these two have to plus together 10 plus 14. Okay, 10 plus 14. And then we multiply height. Height is not given, it's given AF. Okay, 10 plus 14. And then you multiply AH. And then the whole volume you have to multiply the height here, 6 also, because these two trabezium is the same one. So you just multiply the height, you can get the right prism. So height is 6 centimeter. So we multiply 6. Then we can get 360 given is the whole volume is equal to 360 so equal to 360 okay so I just solve this one simplified 2 and 6 we got 3 okay so 10 plus 14 10 plus 14 we got 24 okay 24 multiple 3 24 multiple 3 we got 72 so this one is 72 AF but equal to 360 so in order to find AF, I divide 72 for both sides. I divide 72. This one divide, divide, we got 1, 1. So AF will equal to, AF will equal to 360 divided by 72. 6 all divided by 72. So we have got 5 cm. 5 cm. So that means the length for AF, we have got 5 so you know to solve this kind of question of course you have to understand how to find the volume for the right prism because right prism is given the right prism is, gi is, is given so you have to know actually you have to find for what's the meaning for right prism right prism means actually you got two surface area is the same one like this one you can find through trabezium is the same one and then sometimes he will mention there are uniform cross section so uniform cross section means this one he will cross section with the behind one means both of them are same so you just find one of the area and then you multiple you, you multiply the height okay and then you multiply the height then you can find the whole volume of course he here he gives you very important information he gives the, he says that the combined solid is five four uh, five eight four so you know that actually the volume for right prism will be 584 minus pyramid. Pyramid is 224. So you minus, you got 360. So the whole volume equal to 360. So then you just put in whatever information you got. And then you do not know AF, you just leave it AF. And then multiple 6 will equal to 360. Because this is the formula for volume of prism. So you just solve this equation. You can get AF equal to 5 cm. That's all. For this question, I hope this video can give you some insight about, about this chapter. Thanks for watching.